Hey guys, Terminal Velocity here, and now we're playing to Mega Man 2. Oh boy, the horror. I just guess who's here, back here. And here, but mainly here. The museum is this is this um toys really set the, throughout the throughout the years of the game. In the year two thousand the year two thousand X, a super raw uh, Well, okay then. I skipped that because my fan was in the way. Get off get off my desk, fan. In the year of two thousand X, a super robot named Mega Man was created. And it, well, Dr. Light created Mega Man. Nice space in there to stop the evil desires of Dr. Wily. However, after his defeat, Dr. Wily created eight of his own robots to counter Mega Man. And about how well do you think that's gonna go for him? With our patented pause buffer technique. Ours in the community, because I never came up with that. So you get Mega Man 2. So you got normal and difficult. Normal is the easy mode, believe it or not. Difficult is in obviously difficult is, is the easy mode in Japan. Is the only mode Japan got because they made the normal with cheap with easier enemies because apparently Americans are softies. Even though we've done some pretty pretty nasty stuff in Japan. Maybe that's their way of getting back with some retrospect. Anyway, we're gonna go with normal. So in Mega Man 2 you have a password system if you if you left off. You got eight balls. And those 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 the position of the positioning of those balls determines where Uh what the Okay, then I can't exactly... Okay, here we go. The position of the balls in that grid determines what progress of the game is completed. So let's get E-Tanks now, but you have to use them sparingly. Because you only get, a, get, get to go back to sta You don't get to go back to stages from what I'm aware of. So it's best, it's, it's best to go after either Bubble Man first, or I believe maybe Wood Man. I like to go after Heat Man last. Mostly because he has a really nasty stage. Oh gosh, the, 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 block, the, the hidden block section from hell. Now you could go for Metal Man, but he does insane damage. Yeah, his weapon is actually the best to go out to get first. So let's do that. In the stages are are a set number of E tanks you can gather. But yeah, I'll, like this right here. It's best to save those for Wily stages. Oh, I have rewind? Cool. Ow. Yeah, that's just huge damage. We're not getting through this unscathed, I don't think. Stages are, it was a really nice bop. Probably one of the better ones in the entire series, so I'm gonna be perfectly honest. Ow! Are you serious? Ow! There's some way I can just rapid jump through here. What's my, what's my um? Oh, 
<sighs> okay, I guess I don't add, the, add that button. In the original, you, if you had the right controller, you have a turbo button that would just allow you to rapid jump. Ow! I didn't... I didn't do that! Oh, don't go there. Gosh, this is difficult. But this is no more... Oh gosh, conveyor belts. And you also love to slide, don't you, Mega Man? Oh, mold. Forgot you guys were here. These are great ways to farm, but they just spawn infinitely. I didn't even get through here without. Without, um. They ever spawn on top of you? That's good. Well, I apparently found a, found a yard sale, so we, so we bought a whole bunch of them. They were cheap. You also don't think you're building a slide just yet. That's an extra life up there, but we don't want to get- we can't get that. There's some way to shut these things down. Destroy the gear, the clown falls off. Ow. Destroy the clown, the gear keeps on rolling. Hey, hello, energy. Thank you. In, dif in, in difficult mode, these guys would, would, re would regenerate their, their blocks a, a few times before you can get or truly rid of them. You can't get that if you think down there. Ow. Ow. Gosh, we almost made it through. But yeah, we got it. We need the item number two to get that, that item back there. Now, Metal Man loves to jump back and forth. It'll throw a different... It'll throw a different, um, series of... of He's just really tricky. Now for a different series of blades fan, I think a certain factor of, of your input, but you also change the conveyor belt on you. Yeah, I've gone through several things in this fight. Do this again. The reason I'm going after Madeline like this is because I he has a really it's a really good weapon. I think I almost got him. Uh, you guys, pattern unlocked. He's actually weak to his own weapon, believe it or not. That's just how power overpowered this weapon is. Metal Blade. How am I not doing this right? Can't even charge either in this game, so 
Yeah, I guess he's got that going for him. Without, without saves coming too bad. So now we get equipped with the me metal blade, one of the best weapons in possibly all of classic gaming, even modern too. It's on all the same level as the BFG from Doom. Because literally everything dies in seconds to this thing. Let's look at the password here, just in case I decide to replay this another time. There we go. I got it. So now we can go after Bubble Man. Bubble Man! is a dweeb. Like, he's really, really weak, especially the Metal Blade. He takes insane damage from the me Mega Buster itself, but he's also extremely weak to the Metal Blade. His weapon is Bubble. These guys, they can't... Oh no. I didn't save after that, did I? Nope, I didn't. Okay. Time for password. And we're in. Now let's save terminal. Because I hate I hate losing lives in this sort of game. I lose lives in any game. But they're giving me the option to save scum, so I'm gonna use it. Next time devs don't do that. You can't see it right now, but I'm I'm smirking like with a really stupid grin. <laughs> you know the grin is stupid when even the grinner is saying it's stupid. These guys can't throw off any more any, any more frogs unless there's there's none on the screen from the last one. Ah! Load! So it's a good idea to keep them with you, just in case. Wait a minute, what am I doing? I have the Metal Blade! See, it also has insane ammo. They rebalance it in later games? Rapid fire it. And this thing's drop ammo like that. No, you don't. Yeah. Need some precise jumps to get across here safely. And these guys are best left to, left to their own devices. Because if you do that, the top comes off and you can't really hit them with much else. Also, the top as we're physics in the water. They also come even faster. The tops can hit you afterwards. This guy is basically a, a, a one bottle sushi factory. You only get him if you hit him right there. Thank you for the help, buddy. These are basically upgrade versions of the... Uh, of the co-op, as I like to call it. Like this, it's surprisingly agile underwater. As you'll see here. 
And touching these will immediately kill you. So Anne gets her butts. Come on. Okay then. I'm not complaining. I mean... You can also fire these in different directions, I forgot. Okay, now you can go away. And now, it's raining crabs! Our station's from the sky! And we made it to Bubble Man. Cool. This is probably the most stressful than I thought it would be. <clears> hey, <throat> Bubble Man. Eat metal! <laughs> he goes over just like that. I don't know if you can hear me snapping, but... Just like that. I, I'm proud of my ability to snap because I was not able to snap until I was like 19 something years old. No joke. Get put with Bubble Lead. Is that means I just glow red there for a second? Take a picture of that. Now we have Bubble Man's up, and we can possibly go after Heat Man, but I prefer to go after Wood Man next. And we're 70 minutes in, we've already got defeated the first two Robot Masters. Cheatless, no less. But relatively cheatless. Now, Quick Man is a real spaz, so we're not going to go after him just yet. We want to get Flashbacks up before we do that. <laughs> Wood Man! You know what I really wish they'd do if they ever re release the, the restart the Powered Up series? Give us the ability to change transfer weapons between games. The bubble lead travels along the ground like that, until it hits the wall. Ah, Batons! You may remember if you watch Mega Man X playthrough. Can't hit them when they're ah carrot missiles. Sorry, these are vegetable death. The worst kind of weapon. What kind of psychological damage do you think can be done to attack someone with a with zucchini or a carrot? <laughs> ah, poor veggies. I demand sugar, not vegetables. Okay, so down here you'll see something known as a friender. Yeah, oh, there are no hot dogs I think in America because obviously it was it was too easy that they could that they couldn't resist. Unfortunately, you have to get really close to this guy before you can do anything to him. And there's three of these things. I personally think that this was what this was um. Basis dog trouble with me with me after. They're way too similar. Not they they reference the reference is so uncanny. No enemies there. Here we'll have some more bubble bats. Bad times. No more enemies here. And here we'll have the monster turning. Ah, pee -pees. Ah! The birds! We 
you guys make a beeline straight for you, so they're not too hard to deal with. But some other things that you have to watch out for, because they'll, they'll jump on, then swing up. Ah! Probably all the weapons! the PBs right away, and they can't really do much. But if you let their eggs go unchecked, that happens, obviously. They're good for grinding out, though. Also, they'll just drop their eggs in the abyss, and they have a tendency just to do that, so, yeah. We have to wonder what difficult mode is. Well, to be perfectly honest, difficult mode is, well, difficult. I am firing carrot missiles again. The carrot blaster! Battle chip in! Download! I love the battle network anime. It should not have, have finished. It should finish the dub series so we can continue it. I don't know if like a schoolgirl in, in the Japanese version. Ah! Basically, just let these guys go and they'll run right over you. Sometimes. <laughs> Hello, Woodman. So, with Leaf Shield, you cannot. You cannot penetrate. Ow. Or at least not with typical. Okay, I'll I'll grow plans with you. These these are these are push over. See? At least with the metal blade he is. Because everything just takes horrible and foreign damage from the thing. Three bosses in, not even done with the first episode. This is shaping up to be a short series. We have to check out the museum too. <laughs> they took with Leaf Shield, which there's worse wonders on the peepees. Yeah. This will have extra content later. I think I'm gonna end this right now. Also, yeah, they, as you can see, they've upped the number of robot masters too. So thanks for watching my videos. If you like them, like, comment, and maybe consider subscribing. The activity really helps my channel grow because YouTube needs activity on channels to recommend it to other people. And maybe check me out on Twitch. There's a link in the description. Want to contact me? I'm on Twitter. And I'll see you next time. Terminal Velocity signing out.